Great morning, you guys. Great morning. Today is going to be an amazing day in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank God for who he is and what he's doing in our lives. Today, I want to talk about who, I mean, what do they see? What do they see? What do they see? Go to the throne of grace first. So, Father God, we come to your throne of grace. Thank you just for your grace, your mercy, your salvation, God. Thank you just for being an awesome God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, just for your love this morning, God. Thank you for waking us up to see another day, God. Continue, Lord Jesus, to increase your steadfast spirit within us, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, just for being who you are, God. You are the great I am, God. You are Jehovah Jireh, God. You are the beginning and the end, God. You are the provider, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for protecting us last night while we slept in our bed. God. We thank you for a bed to lie in, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, just for a great day. Thank you for your traveling grace and mercy, God. Your protection, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, just for your word today, God, to remind us, Father God, to be careful, Father God, how we act, Father God, around others, Father God. We want to be able to be able to draw others, Father God, with our joy, God, with the peace, Father God, that you instill in us, God. The only way we can practice these characteristics and well, these characteristics is from you, God. So allow us, Father God, to depend on you and lean on your spirit, God, and just rest in your presence, God. We thank you for your Holy Spirit right now, God. Increase, God. Take over, God. Decrease me while you increase, God. We surrender it all to you right now in the name of Jesus. Everything belongs to you, God. Do what you want to do with it, God. Thank you for the forgiveness of all sin, both known and unknown sins, God. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the small things that we take for granted, God, in life, God. Allow us, Father God, to be grateful for all things, God. Give us a humble heart right now in the mighty name of Jesus at all times, God. Allow us, Father God, to treat others right even when we are treated wrong, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, right now, God, just for being who you are, God. We love you so much, God. This is our prayer to you in the Son, in Jesus' name. I do pray, and it is so. Amen. So today, I want to say, talk about what do they see? You probably like, what do they see from what? What do they see in you? What do others see in you? Today, I talk, talked about our authentic um, Christianity. Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. Matthew 5 and 12. So we're talking about today. So make sure you guys read Matthew 5, 3 through 10. So today it talked about, uh, it says, I applied for a position in a Christian organization years ago and was presented with a list of legalistic rules having to do with the use of alcohol, tobacco, and certain forms of entertainment. We expect Christian behaviors for our employees, is what it says. It's a what's the explanation. I could agree with the list because I, for reasons mostly unrelated to my faith, didn't do those things. It says, by, but my argumentative side thought, why don't they have a list about not being arrogant, insensitive, harsh, spiritually indifferent, and critical? None of these were addressed. Then as he goes on and says, following Jesus can't be defined by a list of rules. It's a subtle quality of life that's difficult to quantify, but can be best described as beautiful. And it goes on talking about Matthew 5 and uh, 5, 3 to 10. It says the beauty tools, uh, some that beauty. It says those who are indwelt, y'all listen, this is very important. Those who are indwelt by and dependent on the spirit of Jesus are humble and self-effacing. Are you humble and self-effacing? Not think about self, not trying to please self all the time. When somebody probably cushions you out, <laughs> that you, you, got to, you got to get that get back. Do you do that? It says, they're deeply touched by the suffering of others. Mm. They're gentle and kind. They long for goodness in themselves and in others. They are merciful to those who struggle and fail. Do y'all know these the church people that always look down on you, even when you know when you are struggling and you're trying to get it right? And they like really dig, make you go deeper into your, your struggle. It's like they condemn you and they don't want to be around you i under I, I know those kind of people but at the same time they those people haven't learned how to be uh what i want to how i want to put this they learn how to be church people that's all they really know how to be for real they really don't know jesus christ for real they don't know the holy spirit they just operate by what they was taught the religious beliefs and all that stuff they're they, because I used to be that type of person, like I just know how to be church, 
a church person. I don't know how to uh, seek seek the Holy Spirit for real. I just know Jesus know how to operate in a church environment. And that's what I used to know until I got to know the Lord for myself, for real. And they, they always used to tell me, read the word for yourself and get to know more about it and get to know, you know, find out the really truth about what a Christian is. It says, uh, they're um, single-minded in their love for Jesus. They're peaceful and leave behind a legacy of peace. What are you leaving, leaving behind? What will you leave behind? for people to see they're kind to those who misuse them that's a big one there returning good for evil so do you return good for evil? just like i was just talking about if somebody curses you out or do bad to you do you have to get them back or say something you know out of the way to make your flesh feel good because that's really what we're we be doing we don't want to feel like the person that lost a battle you feel me it says and they're blessed a word that means happy in deepest in the deepest sense this kind of life attracts the attention of others and belongs to those who come to Jesus and ask him for it. Only God can inherit those trans, uh, characteristics in you. So um, it's going to be, be hard if you do it by yourself. It's like Because you'll just be so selfish and you won't even realize it. You won't have the Holy Spirit to convict you. So when you receive the Holy Spirit, you spirit as your personal savior it will start to convict you it will let you know when you're doing right or wrong you're feeling so um be mindful of that you guys it's so awesome to get into your word and get into i, I know sometimes i it's hard it definitely is hard <laughs> as, as a you know a human being is sometimes hard to get in here get into the word but i still you know push myself to do it because i know people need encouragement encouraging especially at this time it is not about me i had to realize that no matter what kind of pain i'm in with what kind of things i'm going through in life or anything i have to still get on here and let people know that god is real and that everybody go through things um and i want to be my life my i want my life to be transparent as possible so it can so others can relate to it and draw them closer and then draw them to christ that's really what i really get on here to do just to encourage and uh, motivate people and uh, let people know that god is real and he's amazing and it's not being a christian is not a, bro a boring life you feel me that's really all I get on here and do. So this is a reflection. It says, which of the attributes from Matthew 5 do you especially need in your life? Which attributes? Which are the attributes from Matthew 5? So when you read that, it's going to be something that really, <laughs> that you can really cling to. So that whatever it is you cling to, make sure you continue to practice that. And don't try to put so much on yourself because you are end up failing. You feel me? When you try to do so much, and practice on a lot of things at one time. What happens is you're just setting yourself up for failure. And we don't want to do that. It says, how can you grow in this? Like I said, practice it one by one, man. Don't put too much on yourself. And uh, continue to uh, work on it daily. God, the Holy Spirit will help you progress in the characteristics and inherit uh those fruits of the spirit you feel me so be mindful of that you guys don't put don't put too much on yourself don't put too much on yourself all right so that's all i have you guys so make, make sure people um uh, see that that christ like uh see your maturity in christ when they're around you and not see that you're cursing people out and stuff like that because people don't want to see don't want to be a christian they have to like uh Man, I, I, I can do that while I'm at now. I don't need to be saved. I don't need to be a Christian. Uh, they want to see a, a, a life, an abundant life. They don't want to see you being poor and broke and all that stuff there and always complaining. They want to see you be happy and rejoice and be glad in everything. You feel me? So be mindful of that, man. Be mindful of that, how, you're, how you act. A lot of people just want to be, and you know, everybody's not a disciple. Everybody don't want to be a disciple. Some people just want to get saved just for themselves and don't share no kind of uh characteristics of christ or nothing like they just want to say i just to say i got saved I, i'm baptized that's really what some people want to do but hey i can't knock those people everybody is it, it's not easy trying to you know share the word of god it can be easy but it, you know we make it so hard but um we just thank god for 
working in our lives around us, through us, and for us. So like I said, that's all I have for you guys today, man. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go into the throne of grace and we're going to close out. All right, you guys. I love you all. God loves you more. Here's the prayer. Let's pray. Lord, we pray that you would fill us with a deep sense of your presence today. Remind us throughout our day that your spirit is at work in and through us. And that rather than demanding our hard work to attain the fruit of the Spirit, we only need to rest in you, meditate on you, and give all of ourselves to you. Thank you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our new... All right, you guys. Like I said, I love you all. God loves you more. Have a blessed day in the mighty name of Jesus. If you need me, hit me up. I got you. Continue to pray for me. I will pray for you guys as well. And be sure to watch your actions and let, allow people to see the love of God in you. God bless.